Things are gonna happen, it's gonna be a good time. Okay, not only do we have ridiculous instruments, I will be rollerblading while playing them. That adds an extra layer of uh, insanity to it all. If you hang around, you'll get to see my buddy Dale skateboard while playing the marimba too. That's pretty cool. Got a bunch of cool things. The final number has like a million notes and us running around the instrument like chickens with their heads cuts off. So that's kind of fun too. Uh, so before we get to that level of insanity though, we have all sorts of pop hits. It's gonna be a dance party on this street. Uh, you, you might not believe it now, but soon everyone will be dancing and shaking. So it is gonna be so much fun. If the little people like to shake things, like to hit things, they will have the opportunity to sh shake and hit things. So not only are we performing, you guys get to be a part of the experience. It's gonna be such a great time. So yeah, we are Sticks and Stone Percussion. Got my buddy Jacob Krager here. And Dale Oswald Destin. Uh, sometimes we're classical musicians. Sometimes we're jazz musicians. Uh, today we're mostly silly musicians. So we're gonna be pretty silly, we're gonna be pretty fun, it's gonna be a pretty good time. Uh, in just a few minutes when we start, I have five minutes, only five minutes to put on my rollerblades. Okay, can I get these rollerblades on in five minutes? It is a mystery, probably. I'm pretty sure I can. They're not that hard right now. Although, the shoe lives here. Oh, hey. If you come on Sunday, there is a slight chance my Barbie-themed Ken costume could arrive in time, in which case I would not only be on rollerblades, I would be dressed as Ken, and that would be fun. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to be here for noon, but, like, I don't know. Maybe later. Like, I might go home if it comes in time, if we could squeeze in an extra performance. I think it would be fun to have one performance where I'm dressed as Ken. That would be like the next level of ridiculousness. So we are musicians, we're kind of legit musicians, but like there's a guy over there juggling a chainsaw and you know, I had to ask myself before we got here, like why would anyone want to watch musicians when there's a guy in the middle of that square juggling a chainsaw? So I tried to answer that question as best I could. Uh, we've come up with a lot of silly things we're gonna do. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're all gonna have a great time. Uh, I can't actually promise we will be more entertaining than a guy juggling a chainsaw. Like, we've done our best, but like, chainsaws are pretty exciting, you know? It's like we're playing our sweet music, and then we hear, we're like, oh man, everyone's gonna go look at the chainsaw, you know? Chainsaws are, they're pretty awesome. And he, he's, a, he's a great performer. <sighs> okay, we've got some things, we've got some stuff. Uh, we've got those albums out. Oh, Jacob made it look all pretty. Yay, Jacob. Jacob's on. Jacob is so on. Okay, Dale's starting his skateboard tricks. Got my rollerblades. Everything's working out. All our gimmicks. Do we all have our blindfolds for when we play blindfolded later? Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for being with us here on the side of the street at 84th Avenue and 104th Street in front of Knox Church where you're going to see some cool stuff in a couple minutes. I don't think we're quite ready to start. I think 7.30 is our call time. I think we'll actually wait till 7.30. It's probably a reasonable call. Yeah. Okay, so in about three minutes time, you're gonna see some cool things. And you know, if you wanna come up earlier, that's cool. If you wanna grab some shakers and start shaking, that's cool. You're welcome to participate in this whole performance. Uh, we promise we do not bite very hard. Now, I mean, percussionists are sometimes a little bit feral, the, the drummers and such, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, it seems like people are shy at first. Like, you know, the hardest thing when doing these performances when we start is like, can we get people to sit there? I don't know, like, if I gave a free CD to the first two people who sat right up here, would people come? I don't know, can I try that? People still shy. People are shy. People are so shy to start. Oh man, I don't know. I've gotten over my ridiculousness. I uh, I'm also a substitute teacher and I uh, play everywhere. So I just stand in front of people and start talking. And, um, hopefully they're engaged. Maybe it's more intimidating when I have a microphone. I don't know. 
We've got a couple minutes. I mean, we could start early. I don't know. Should we start early? There is a bit of people here, so if we just start it, maybe they would come. I mean, if I ramble more, maybe more people would come, or maybe they get bored. It's really tough to say. What do you think? Well, we weren't going to start for like a couple minutes, but I, I, I don't know. Does this lady here who's nodding want us to start? Okay, she's getting impatient, so you know we probably want to start doing some things before she gets bored and leaves. She's like, oh man, these people are never going to play. I can't wait till 7.30. That's okay, that's okay. I hear you, I hear you. Well, it does seem like there's a bit of a crowd, so maybe we could start a couple minutes before 7.30. It might not be the worst thing in the world. But if people would come in, that would be great. We are actually like not supposed to be blocking that uh, little alley there with all the vendors so they get a little bit upset if we're like blocking the alley so if you think you might want to watch it if you just come in just a little bit that would be awesome try not to block the alley uh we do appreciate the crowds coming in uh and hopefully what we do entertains you enough that you want to stay a little while thank you for being here we are sticks and stone percussion percussion is all the things you hit shake or scrape we'll get to that in a little bit um yeah this is starting to be a bit of a crowd uh i guess we could just start right Okay, well, we've got a pretty good audience, but we feel more special if there's more of an audience. So I think Jacob is going to call up some friends. He, he, he thinks he can call up some people that would bring in a bit more of an audience. Yeah, okay. So is it ringing? It's ringing. Okay, so there's an audience coming, right? Okay, there's an audience coming. I just feel so bad. I just feel so bad. 
to look right at you baby but here's my number so call me baby hey, i just met you and this is crazy so here's my number and call me baby hey. before you came to the french fest i missed you so bad i missed you so bad i missed you so so before you came to the bridge fest, I missed you so bad, and you should know that. So call me maybe. Woo! Thank you for being with us here on the side of the street at 84th Avenue and 104th Street. Clearly the hippest intersection in Edmonton right now. Uh, if you did want to come in a little bit, that would be awesome, especially so we don't block off that little uh, alleyway there and people can walk by as they're going through the festival. Uh, now, I have told the story of this crazy instrument, the marimba, so many times and talked about percussion so many times to people on the sides of the street and other places. Oh, you're getting ahead of yourself, but you probably need a shaker. Okay, you probably need a shaker. Okay, this is the part where everyone needs a shaker. So, oh, and including Gary, do you need a shaker or you got your own things? Okay, so would you rather I just tell you about percussion and the marimba, or would you rather that I rap about percussion and marimba? Oh, you want me to rap about it? You know the right answer. You're a great crowd member, okay. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to rap about the marimba and percussion as soon as Jacob starts playing the right song. That is not the right tune, Jacob. Come on. Okay. We got another one. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, there we go. May I have your attention? May I have your attention, please? Could I have the children come up and grab a shaker? Oh, yeah. There you go. You need a shaker. These are fun. These are so much fun. Okay. In all honesty, everyone can grab a shaker. Who wants a shaker? Gary wants a shaker. Okay. You know, if you play music, you'll never grow up, so let's just all be kids together on the side of the street. Okay, grab a shaker. Grab a shaker. Grab a shaker. Come swarm and grab a shaker. Y'all need some shakers. Cool, cool, cool. Time to shake. Time to shake. Time to shake. Shake. Here we go, here we go. Yo, anyone else need a shaker? I should start throwing some shakers. I don't know, I think maybe Kathy and Scott need some shakers, but I just like to throw them out. Okay, there you go, you gotta catch it. Okay, you're in, you're in. Okay, I don't know, anyone else need some shakers? They're all here. Anyone else? Okay, I'll put them here. Just come on your own time. Okay, time to learn about the rhythm and percussion. Like you've never seen a marimba before The grand piano of the jungle is silent from before It came out of Africa that opened new doors Through Latin America, that's an orchestra score In 1896 or maybe 1893 They added on a second row of keys And now we can play all the sweet melodies Like a guitar or piano, we do what we please Y'all act like you've never seen a rhythm so tight Full of balance in our hands, it's a portal to life We're drumming on Rosewood all day and all night Playing open air is the real street fight So where are the beat makers, the real beat makers? All the other players are just imitators. For the real beat makers, please shake now. Please shake now. Please shake now. For the real beat makers, the real beat makers. All the other players are just imitators. For the real beat makers, please shake now. Please shake now. Please shake now. Okay, I see some small people who are quite excellent at shaking. So, if you're having a lot of fun, you might consider growing up and pursuing a lucrative career in music on the side of the street just like us. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, the best job, we get to try and make everyone smile, try and make everyone have a good time. So, we're having a blast. The people who hit things are the heart of the band. They put a lock on the pocket. They're the rhythm of command. Collect more and more gear in the hippies wonder life. Put a logo on your shirt and now you start with your brand. You hang with an orchestra, you hide in the back. Your tambourine, you be quiet, but it makes it in time. The boom of the beast, of the roar of the gong. Slap, 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 you play the effects strong. 
Flash it on anything, you hit shaker, scrap, drum cymbal, weirdo, and the three-sided shape. Now it's just piano like a part of this landscape. I just got a sweetly crew, I didn't say it would be So where the beat makers, the real beat makers, all the other players are just imitators. For the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. Where the beat makers, the real beat makers, all the other players are just imitators. So the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. Okay, this is the jam portion of our song. So we're gonna play some bongos. The bongos are so much fun. Maybe I'll just like put them here. Encouraging people to step forward slightly. We got a bongo player? Are you gonna be a bongo player? Bongos are so much fun. Okay, how about cowbell? We got a cowbell player. Oh, this is such a shy crowd. Is my mic too loud? Am I, am I intimidating? I don't know. Who's the cowbell player? Okay, you look like you could be a cowbell player. I pick you. Okay, I pick you. You got it. You got it. Okay, how about some tambourine? There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, maybe some triangle. Okay, what else do we got here? Ooh, Weiro. Weiro's fun. This scraping. Here we go. We're gonna start it with drums and wanna hit me, wanna bang from a young age when the rhythm and fire spring. Have a table pop and dance, making joyful sound. This is where the percussion inside you is found. Beat makers and all the other players are just imitators. So the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. We're the beat makers, the real beat makers. All the other players are just imitators. So the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. We're the beat makers, the real beat makers. All the other players are just imitators. So the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please stop now. Woo! You guys are so great. You've been such a wonderful audience so far. So uh, I think there's a little percussion inside all of us. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So you are welcome to maybe just come in a little bit more if you're enjoying this so far. It makes more space for people in the back. Uh, and we are gonna go into our next tune. Yeah, just take a couple steps forward. We promise we don't bite. You, you, it'll be okay. <coughs> so our next tune. Uh, will be the number one hit from Marimba Percussion. You're welcome to keep the shakers and all the things the entire time you hang out. Just bring them back at the end. Or if you don't, give us more money so I can buy more because they're slowly disappearing. Okay. Awesome. So, we are going to move on to the number one hit for marimba. The thing that everyone wants to hear on the marimba. So, I used to take this huge xylophone thing, marimba on the side of the street at farmer's markets and I'd play classical music like Bach and Debussy and that was cool. You know what's more cool? Having friends. So I made a band and now I'm less lonely and you know we can hang out with people. Uh, and we've done some hip things like this album here where I took folk music from 15 countries and mixed it with pop, rock and jazz. It's kind of hip but uh, you know no matter what we've done, no matter what we've done, there's one tune people keep asking for on the marimba. There is one tune everyone wants to hear. So, do you want to hear it? Yeah. yeah, okay. It's gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Okay, we're good to go. Wait. Dale, Dale, what are you doing? No, you are going to break my incredibly expensive instrument made of rosewood. No, Wait. Dale, I've never seen anything like that before. We don't hit the marimba with that. Come on, Dale. Okay. Okay, that works. Yeah, we hit the marimba with mallets. Okay, okay. We're good to go. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, here we go.
that was Under the Sea. Uh, so when this group started with all sorts of jokes and experiments, we made a little video of that. It was just like a ha ha, this is a funny thing, let's put it on the internet, see what happens. And I have no other explanation for why I was contacted to play for an international curling competition. So yes, that's how you start a band. <laughs> So, uh, next up, we are going to do one more fun thing. Oh, yeah, and hey, thank you for the mother and small person there. Uh, in case you did not realize, uh, we are actually not paid to be here, so uh, we only are paid to whatever you generously feel like contributing. Uh, so, we appreciate that. Uh, we have, in fact, paid to be here. But anyways, Dale is going to go on to share one of his unique special talents. So, again, you know, why do people want to see us when there's a guy juggling a chainsaw? Well. Dale has some other skills too, so let's, let's hear about them, Dale. So, I'm going to attempt something you have never seen before in your lives ever. I'm going to do skateboard tricks and play marimba at the same time. And I can say that you've never seen this before because you've never found anyone foolish enough to try this. You may ask yourself, Dale, is skateboarding and playing marimba not incredibly silly and possibly life-threatening? To that, I would say yes. You might also ask yourself, Dale, is there not a chance you could fall into the instrument and break the very expensive instrument made out of endangered rosewood? And to that, I would say most definitely yes. You may also ask yourself, Dale, is there not a chance you could fall while skateboarding and launch the skateboard into the shins of your colleagues? And to that, I would say most definitely yes. The only difference is I am wearing shin pads and they are not. So I need one thing from you guys before I try this. If I don't land a trick or I land it like, man, give me like a golf clap. Like, you know, I could do that, you know, whatever. But if I do actually land the trick and manage not to kill myself, my friends, or break the instrument in the process, I need to cheer louder than you have ever cheered before in your whole life. With that being said, I think we are ready to go. Please do not try this at home, because I did, and my neighbors thought that I was a lunatic.
Yeah, Dale in our group is a very special person. Uh, you know who else is special in our group? Jacob is also quite special. So, would you like to see Jacob's special skill? Yeah, yeah right answer. This crowd member knows the correct answer. <laughs> if you want everything, the, the correct answer is always yes, by the way. Um, Do you want to give us a thousand dollars? No, okay, how about 500? <laughs> okay, well, well, let's take it down a little, you know. Okay, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah, we are now going to feature Jacob Krager here, who is a very special person. So, within the percussionist of Sticks and Stone, he's, he's definitely in the top three. So, uh, he now is going to share with you his amazing skill, uh, which is playing the marimba upside down. So, uh, Jacob actually worked on this in his master's degree, so when you do an undergraduate percussion, that's like you're spending all your time with all the things you hit, shake, or scrape. But you start doing a master's and you have to find your unique way of making a difference in the world. So, someone else in the uh, percussion master's program was doing a concerto for typewriter and orchestra, and you know, that was kind of cool. And, you know, and another guy was doing research on the use of kettle drums played on horses in medieval times, and that was also kind of cool. Anyways, this, this became Jacob's unique way of making a difference. So this is what he came upon one day when repairing his marimba. And now Jacob is pretty awesome at playing the marimba sit down, and he can do pretty much everything right now except you know, the black notes are still kind of hard when you play the marimba side out. So he has trouble with these, like the, the A flat, A flat's really tough. So maybe when we get to it, the second time in the tune, maybe he'll be able to get it done. Um, maybe with enough audience support and cheering. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go, just a second. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so, Jacob has worked at this tirelessly, and he's devoted a lot of a lot of his energy and a lot of his life to playing the marimba upside down. And sometimes, when you are pursuing your unique and weird dream, like sometimes the going gets tough. Like for example, right about now, Jacob's arms should be going numb. That's that's what happens when you play the marimba upside down like this. But fortunately, whenever he has been practicing this difficult skill. There have been huge crowds of people who cheer loudly for him. Which has given him the energy to keep going despite the difficulty and challenges. So, you know, with enough cheering and enthusiasm, he might even be able to play that A-plot. So we're gonna hear a large cheer. Okay, okay, so now he might be able to get... Oh yeah, yeah, it's a tough note. Yeah, there we go. So that was it. That was it. He, he got the A-plot. Yeah. Thank you, thank you crowd for being here and for cheering for us. Or for Jacob. So we all need support in the pursuit of our dreams. And if you are determined and you are focused, you can achieve your dreams, like Jacob's dream with the upside down marimba. Whatever you do, just hard work, determination. You might even find yourself able to jump over your bandmates. No, we're not going to do that because we haven't practiced. There we go. Last note. <laughs> we are not right yet ready to kill our bandmates yet with our attempted rollerblade jumping. So, uh, the moral of the story is if, yeah, if you work hard and you are focused and you are determined, you can achieve any dream. So, maybe you want to travel the world. Maybe you want to earn a million dollars. Maybe you want to get the phone number of a musician from the Edmonton Fringe Festival and ask him out on a date. Well, whatever your dream, you can achieve it. Okay, <laughs> so uh, next up, we are going, how would we possibly get more ridiculous than that? How could we get more ridiculous than upside down marimba playing in this escalation? What if we couldn't see the instrument? If we couldn't see the instrument, wow, that would be crazy. Have you ever seen a blindfolded marimba band before? No? Neither have we. Okay. <laughs> uh, and just a reminder that 
Uh, we are trying not to block off that exit, so if you could like like come in ahead of that like final white line. They are like five steps forward. Uh, the uh, fringe people are less happy if we are obstructing all traffic in the area. So yeah, if we try to just be forward of that front line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool, cool. You can, you can even come up right up to this rope. And in fact, we might enjoy that. And we, we might think people enjoy our music. <laughs> okay, time to play the marimba blindfolded. Okay. All right. I'm okay. Ready. We're, we're good? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough with rollerblades sometimes. Like, if you lose your anchoring. Okay. Uh, okay. Are we good? Okay. You guys ready? Ish. things you have never seen if you hang out with us uh, and some of them we haven't seen either so uh, yeah next up we are going to increase the intensity with a little bit of a uh, street fight street boxing we might be running around the instrument again uh, so again uh, there is a huge crowd of people so if you could just take a step forward then we do not obstruct everything we really do appreciate it if you come in and enjoy the performance uh, yeah so time for a little street boxing here uh, also, just a quick reminder that we are only paid by whatever you give, so uh, if you have to throw coins, we really do appreciate it if you wrap it in something soft. Okay. Here we go. One.
three of us here. Now we are going to play a very little known tune from a small village in Nicaragua. That's not what we're playing at all. Okay. You might know this tune entirely possibly. Uh, it's fun. And uh, we're drummers, so we can actually use some help with singing along. Drummers are not like known for singing. So uh, with the bass drum here, maybe this half of the crowd, you guys like thunder. And maybe that half the crowd, no you don't. Nah, you do not like thunder. So thunder. Na 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 na. Na 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 for donating. Again, we are only paid through whatever people feel like they can give us. So we do appreciate that. Uh, on that note, uh, could we have a small child who would like to earn $20? Is there a small child in the crowd who would like to earn $20? Oh, you're going to be the person? Yeah. And you're not. I don't know. Maybe maybe you could like rock, paper, scissors that little girl there. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you the person? Hey, what's your name? Ivana, Ivana, would you like to earn $20 today? And would you like to play the bike horn today? 
Okay, awesome. Okay, so come here, Ivana. Okay, so first thing we have to learn. So everyone, give a warm round of applause for Ivana. Woo! The whole crowd is cheering for you. Uh, okay, so now the first thing we need to know about music is that uh, playing music is the easy part and, and getting paid is the hard part. So this is uh, how you are going to help us. So uh, anyways, we will show you what you need to do momentarily, but first we have to practice bowing. So when we get to the end of this, you're going to take a big bow and everyone's going to applaud. So first, can you come here and face the audience? Now we're going to look at them and give a big smile, our arms to our side, and then we go like that. And everyone applauds. Yay! Okay, okay, that was, that was good, but I don't think the crowd did as well as you did. So let's try that one more time. We're going to stand tall, and after we take our big bow, the whole crowd is going to applaud, okay? So, three, two, one. Yeah! Okay, awesome. So that is the roaring thunderous applause you will get for your grand performance. So, okay, the bike horn. So, uh, now we have these buckets here, uh, which are a part of how we get paid. So whenever someone makes a donation, that is actually the only way uh, we get paid. So, whenever someone throws some money, uh, maybe like this nice $20 bill, in a bucket, then you will honk the bike horn, okay? And we're gonna play this video game tune, and then we're gonna start really, really slow, but then we will feel energized, like we have the power to play great music or buy groceries. So, uh, and we will know to play faster when you play the bike horn, okay? So, this is how you earn $20 as a musician. Okay, one, two, one, this okay and three two one good job Ivana you earn twenty dollars which is what a good performer is worth yeah. <laughs> okay and we finally have one last tune which has a lot of notes it is crazy it is insane it will be the most ridiculous thing you have seen on the marimba I 100% have to take off my rollerblades or I will die so, uh, yeah, this is our final number, and oh, and Dale's gonna help me. It's good to have a dad sometimes. Uh, so we are pretty excited to be here. Uh, and again, we are, uh, if you haven't donated, please just make a donation before we go. Again, uh, this is the only way we are paid. Uh, and in fact, we did pay to be here. So, uh, you know, if you think this show was as good as a movie, 
or something, uh, or a show by a band at a bar, that would be like $15. If you think it's like symphony material, that's like $40. Uh, and, you know, if this is comparable to, like, a Taylor Swift concert, okay, $500. <laughs> That's what they're going for? I checked last night. Okay, so, before we get to our final number, we need a little bit of energy here. So we gotta get, we gotta get excited. So, uh, to feel like it's something special, we need, we need a unison clap from the audience. So can we do it? We go, clap, 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 Okay. Okay, and this will end in a huge amount of applause when we get faster, and then we'll feel like we're real musicians, and people care about what we do. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. All the energy, all the energy. Okay, okay, uh, so exciting. So, hey, how do you know if there's a drummer at your door? The knocking speeds up. Sorry, the knocking speeds up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and two snare drums and a cymbal fell off cliff, it looks like. So, um, yes, we are on to our final number. Thank you so much for being with us here. We have a lot of notes. It's going to go crazy. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> in unison that doesn't speed up the shot. 
Okay. Okay, this is our metronome. It might cross the bar lines. This is your cue to rush forward with $500 for the Taylor Swift value. No, it's okay. I want to thank you all for us to be here, for you being here. Uh, if you want to come up and just say good job, that's cool. Uh, if you also feel like donating online, we also have ways of doing that. You can find us everywhere on the internet. Uh, hundreds of YouTube videos. We're on Spotify. We've got a little mailing list for all our events and stuff. So, six and stone percussion. Thank you for being with us here at the Edmonton Fringe Festival. <laughs> And you are welcome to take a shaker home if you have paid at least $10 towards this performance. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Or CD, same thing. Shaker or CD for at least $10 towards the performance. <laughs> Thank you.